Into London's great distribution centres move army convoys. The food distribution, crippled by the transport strike, is taken over by the military. In this struggle is personified one of the major problems facing the Labour government today. Itself based on trade union support, it now meets a challenge from unofficial strikers who have defied their own unions. For transport men, the strike means a 44-hour week, paid holidays, sick pay. For the public, it means the fear of a return to the chaos of 1926. To the housewife especially, it means new food hardships. Yet even though personal burdens are increased, our reporter found people determined to see fair play to the transport men. We hand our microphone over to the public. Well, I think I'll be glad when it's all over, as it's putting us about a good bit. But at the same time, um, I think the men are within their rights for what they're striking for. Well, I, I think it's very disgusting about the strike, because I have a family of six, and I have nothing to feed them on. And uh, we're all getting run down, probably end up in the hospital. Well, this is not fair. And uh, the strikers, if they do want a little more pay, they should really get it. Because we're paying enough for our food, dear enough. The strike is definitely not fair to mothers. I've got a mother looking after seven children, and she definitely can't get enough for us all to eat. Sunday, we have a little piece of beef, not, not enough to feed the baby on. I think it's disgusting. If the men were given regular hours, I consider that they would not, uh, not strike at all. They should know their own time and get a fair wage for it, and I'm certain that if they all get round the table, they can adjust it with goodwill on all sides. It's very hard for the mothers, we realise, but the government should do something to bring the men and the governors and the union together. Well, let's have it up and get this track over. I've got two empty bags. We had meat pie yesterday for dinner, right. and good luck. Let's hope you get what you want. All I can say is that I think it ought to be, something ought to be done and pretty quick. Don't you think we've had enough of seven years of war without having to have all this business? Well, I certainly think the men are justified for the very fact that they have wives and children of their own and they would not make them suffer without a good cause. Thank you. Wanted, a new industrial charter. <laughs>